and thanks for joining the Frosty Sith channel today where we're going to be upgrading the workstation that I use to do the video editing and photography work with DaVinci Resolve and Photoshop and Lightroom or Darktable uh, because the primary drive, I've got a one terabyte NVMe uh, drive and it's darn near full just over the last few months of video and photography work that I've been doing. So I'm going to be upgrading that to an ASUS uh, NVMe hyperdrive, uh, which is basically a four NVMe drive RAID. So stay tuned and we'll get into it. Okay, so the Hyper M.2 .x card version 2. That's what we're going to be using today for our 4 drive NVMe and I'm going to open that uh, in just a second and then what we're going to be putting in those I've got four of these what are they? They are Intel 660p one terabyte NVMe drive. So that's what we're going to be putting in there. Nothing to do there. So here's the card. instruction manual that is a quick start manual Let's see what it says one oh it's just telling me the parts and specifications so getting started remove the four cover screws remove the cover and set it aside Here are the standoff screws into the card. Insert the storage devices. Peel plastic films off of thermal pads and secure to the cover of the ASUS Hyper M.2 X16 card V2 with the cover screw that you removed earlier. Then install get into a PCI Express 3.0 slot. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna power down the workstation and get it plugged in there and go into the BIOS and see if we can make it all work. So, let's keep going, looks like. There's the four screws that connect the cover. Got a little magnetic container here to keep the screws. separated and there's the thermal pads we were reading about in the directions with the sticky tape on them so once we have the SSDs installed we'll remove that and that will help conduct heat from the NVMe drives uh, through this pretty robust heat sink so 
Be honest. So they sent the standoff and connector screw in four little baggies. So we're going to go ahead and just open all four of those and put those in our tray. top of the PCIe 3.0 card is number one, two, three, four, as you get toward the PCEI connector. PCIe connector. So you just set it in there like that. And so it's going to need to be on the 2280. So that's where we're going to put the particular standoff we're using. All right, so now we're going to put the standoff for slot three. And the standoff for four. Now we're going to take the Intel 660p which is what we're using and you can tell how these should go in because there's a little key there's a slot here and there's also a slot in the female where that goes on the board the NVMe connector on the board and it's just like that so you know it's not going to take a lot of pressure or anything and then we're going to take one of these little screws I may actually have to dig out my now this will work. And you push this down. And you just screw it on and that holds it in place. And then we repeat that. So now, really all we have to do before the card is ready to go back into the workstation, or go into the workstation, is to peel the sticky off the thermal pads, which will stick to the NVMe drives and help conduct the heat from the NVMe drive through the thermal pad into this heavy, robust, thick metal cooling heat sink that uh, is on here. And there's, this is a blower style heat sink. So I don't know if you can see light through there or not, but this whole thing is hollow here. And then there are ribs on the inside. And um, once it's connected to the board, this circle here goes on top of this fan. And then this will circulate air across there and blow it out 
the end of the card so and it'll blow it across the heat sink and out. So, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to pull that off and take those off of all four. Okay, so now we're just going to put it back and get it screwed back on. Okay, so that's it. That's the bottom of the board. There's the top of the Asus M.2 X16 card version two, which is what we're gonna now pull the workstation. We'll shut it down, pull it, install this card, and then see if we can uh, get it to run and move our files back over onto it and get it going.